the Nikki Burns Show with Jenny Green. The Nikki Burns Show with Jenny Green. Yeah. 2FM. Now, something completely different. Carl, we, we sent you to get into the ring um, and fight a round, just one round, with an Irish Olympic gold medal winning boxer. Okay? Mm. Now, you've done a lot of stuff for us. Yeah. Yeah, your hats off to you. A lot of people stop me in the street and say, that guy, Carl, has a, has a great job, but he also, you know, you put, you put him through some. Some might Crap. say I'm a bit of an idiot. As well. A lot of people have said that actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More no. than I would tell you if I'm, Un- if I'm being honest. Understandable. Yeah. But this, to me, takes the biscuit. Now I know you're doing. There's a good cause involved, which we'll discuss now. But you got in the ring for one round with Michael Carruth. Yeah, and I mean, when when the team asked me to do this, I was like, well, to get into the the ring with an Olympic gold winning medal boxer. I mean, what an opportunity. But it was 1992 when he won his gold medal. Ah, so he's old. I, I, get, was, I see. Well, you're... I didn't really remember. I was what two. Age? I you was were, two yeah. when he won his gold medal. So I actually you wouldn't went have beat him then. Uh, <laughs> and you won't beat him now. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> I went into the archives for a bit of research just to, to try and find, uh, you know, out a little bit more. So I found the clip of him winning the Olympic uh, gold medal. In 1992. And the late Jimmy McGee, the late great Jimmy McGee, is uh, commentating on this. Michael Carruth! is the champion of the Olympic Games. Michael Carruth is the champion, the champion, the champion. I never thought I'd live to see the day, and that is a moment that this commentator will savour forever. Ah, great to hear Jimmy as well. Now, he's the only male gold-winning boxing medalist. Oh, well, gold we medalist. obviously have Katie, a uh, female. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and we do have great boxers. My my dad actually told me when I came home uh, the other day and I said, oh, I fought around with Michael Carruth. He told me, he, he Michael Carruth lives in uh, in Walkinstown, which is very close to where I live. And he told me that when he won the gold medal, <laughs> he sent flowers up to the house. <laughs> Your so we is. sent a bouquet of flowers to Michael Carruth's house <laughs> to congratulate the family, even though there was like crowds and the army flew over the house and yeah, everything. That's so. just what a boxer needs when exactly. he wins a gold medal. There's a bunch of flowers. A <laughs> bunch of flowers. So there you go, Michael. That's where they came from. But it's a thought that counts. Yes, absolutely. Uh, how is Michael these days? Is he still keeping fit? Is he still training? He's still, I tell you what, a lot fitter than, uh, than I am uh, after we got into, the, uh, we, did a, we did a minute round with each other, but he's in great shape. He's getting ready for... It's a, it's a charity event that they're running for cystic fibrosis and it's on Friday week in uh, the National Stadium and Michael is going to fight 65 rounds, 65 one minute rounds against random people. So like, I mean, that'll give you an idea of where his fitness is at too, because I did one minute and I was like, I don't know if anyone's ever been in a boxing ring, it is. Oh, wow. absolutely. It's, it's, it's a different type of fitness because not only are you trying to, obviously you, you need cardio fitness, but you're trying to not be hit and trying to hit and you're getting hit in the body and the head. Yeah. Um, with the 65 rounds, that's, 60, that's 65 minutes. So he's going to obviously face all sorts of uh, uh, quality. You know, some people yep. won't, like yourself, maybe not so qualified. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's oh, the most respectful way. No. <laughs> Or he's probably going to fight young lads who are boxers and do around with them. Well, he did. I think there's talk of him maybe uh, fighting like Kenneth Egan and there's a few lads right. who like you know who who will be former boxers as well. And he's well prepared. Like I think it doesn't matter like whether you're retired or not. Former boxers they'll try and sneak oh, there's in. There's always uh, that bit of an edge. Yeah. So it, they, there'll be there'll be an edge to some of those uh, those rounds definitely. Were you qualified? Were you nervous? Well, like I mean, I when when I got asked to do this, I wasn't really worried about it. But it's weird. Uh, like I was probably overconfident at the start. When you step into the ring, it all all of a sudden comes a lot smaller. But you can hear my little bit of overconfidence here when I'm when I'm talking to Michael before I got into the ring. So let's just let's just explain what's going to happen here. Um, I'm going to get into the ring with you, Michael. Okay. And you're going to bet the head of me, basically. That comes easy to me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> now I've I've genuinely I don't know if I've ever thrown a punch in my life so how stupid an idea is this well it's it's stupid in one sense that obviously if you're not doing it for nothing it's stupid but we are doing it for something we're not we're doing it for cystic fibrosis ireland you know now i'm one of these people you know i don't like doing things in half so i'm kind of like if i'm gonna get the opportunity to get into the ring with a gold medal winning Olympic boxer. I yeah. want to give it a good go. Absolutely. Yeah, so, sure. And I want you to give it a good go. Of course well. I have. I told you, the worst thing you can do with me is hit me. You know, so, so with that, I will retaliate. You know, so. I probably should have ripped his head off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was, I'm dead. I was like, yeah, this is going to be great fun. And then just this ominous. 
I am going to retaliate. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay. So, you know, I, 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 I suppose at that point, he's now set the stall out to say, look, it's a bit of crack. It's for charity. It's a great event. But if you go for me, I'll absolutely annihilate you. If you clip you. me one, I'll clip you one back. <laughs> absolutely. No, but it is worth pointing out. Like, I mean, anyone who does take part in this, it is for fun. And it was incredible. When I got into the ring, it was incredible to see a master like Michael at work and how he just commanded the ring. It was only afterwards he pointed out to me, Michael stayed in the centre of the ring the whole time. He had me running around in circles. So I was wrecked by the end of it, but he mm. was fine. And I was... I'm t- I, Did honestly, you land the punch? This is the thing. I was trying so hard, and I was running around like a madman, trying to get around Did to the you land the punch? I No. He didn't land a punch. He was so good at defending them. And then, it, but the problem was, I would try and land a punch, he'd defend him. Before I, I even realised he defended him, his other arm was coming at me. It was unbelievable. Like, it was a complete one minute. How many punches do you think you threw? Oh, I'd say in one minute I, I threw like 50, least 60 punches. <laughs> I just threw, but I didn't land one of them. Uh, right, we have a clip of you here. Is this after you finished? So this is after. Now, so just for context, I did one minute, which is exactly what anyone else who's taking part in this event will be doing. So this is what it sounds like after one minute in the ring with Michael Crook. That's it, that's the That's one minute. It's brilliant. Jesus! I don't know if I even landed one punch. <laughs> How are you breathing now? A lot heavier. Just, just visualize now. Somebody with cystic fibrosis. What they go through every minute of every day. Yeah? Okay? That's why I'm doing this. Wow, so the breathing that you felt after, you know, training for a minute is basically how someone's cystic fibrosis feels all the time. And it was that it was quite a sobering thought and it was a really lovely way of Michael kind of pointing out, like, this is why I'm doing this, because this is the struggle that people go through every single day who have cystic fibrosis. So that's exactly why they're doing this event. It's for Cystic Fibrosis Ireland. And the best thing is, if anyone's listening in and thinking to himself, I'd love an L, 60 second go at, at Michael Crute. You can t- anyone can take part in this. Literally okay. anyone can get online. Now it's limited to 65 places. So if you fancy it, you have to go on like, you know, as soon as you can. CFIreland.ie, you'll see the link there. It's 50 euros to register. And like obviously all of that goes to charity. And then if you want to fundraise a little bit more, you can. Or even if you want to go along in the night and just see random people. If you know someone's boxing there, or if you just want to go and see the event. It's a fiver in in the door. It's in the National Stadium on Friday week. Um... And I, you don't even if you don't want to go, can't go, don't want to fight, you can donate separately as well, I can see here. You can. You can go on to cfireland.ie uh, or if you want to text CFI and you can text fight CF to 50300 and you can donate four euro that way. So it's a great cause. And But if, if you're around, it actually is going to be great crack. Five and quid in on the door. That'd be great crack to, it, to, to go in and see Michael fight 65 people. Absolutely. And get to meet him. And he showed me he had his gold medal with him as well. So I'm sure he'll have it there with him on the night as well. If you want to see a real life gold Olympic medal and uh, get your photo. And you'll have to buy it. Everyone buys them, don't they? Uh, did you learn anything? I learned that boxing is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, that, and that I should not be a boxer. I'm the least qualified person on planet Earth. Um, very tough. Like you said, it's it's not just cardio fitness. It's mental fitness while having to take punches to the head and you're confused. And yeah, it, it ver- I'm not going to be a boxer. Well, we asked Roy Kane what, he, what you should have done. He- I probably should have ripped his head off. <laughs> Maybe we should do that next. Put me in a ring with Roy Keane. <laughs> The Nikki Burns Show with Jenny Green.